Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm going to give you a short overview of Dataform. Dataform is a fast way to manage data pipelines in your data warehouse. Suppose we are an e-commerce company and we want to create core tables to report on what's happening in our business. We have three main data sources in our Redshift data warehouse. Information about our customers coming from our CRM, a list of orders from Shopify, and payment information from Stripe. To build reports and conduct analysis, we want to create two tables in our data warehouse. A table that will combine data from Shopify and Stripe, and a table that will be the source of truth for our customers' information, with data coming from the CRM, Shopify, and Stripe. We want these data sets to be updated every hour in our data warehouse so that the data is always fresh. Let's build this together in about five minutes using Dataform. To start off, I'm going to switch to development mode and select a branch to work from. Then we are going to create a new SQL file that we'll name order stats. The name of the file will define the name of the dataset we will create. To speed things up, I'm going to paste in a query that I've already prepared. This query joins orders information from Shopify, payment details from Stripe, and also applies some filters to the data. I can execute this query to see what the data looks like and if it looks correct. I want to create a table, so I'm going to add config type table at the top of the file using Dataform's templating language. We can see a tag is now indicating table on the right. Now I'm going to create a dataset with this query in my warehouse. To do this, I will click publish table. This will create a table in my data warehouse with the results of the select statement. We'll wait briefly for it to run. Now that's done, I can open the schema browser and see that I have a new table in my data warehouse in the data form schema. Next, we're going to create another data set, customers D, following the same process. As before, I've prepared a query already. This script introduces another data form concept with the ref function on line 12. The ref or reference function enables you to reference any other data set defined in a data form project. With that function, data form will do two things. It will expand the table name into the fully qualified name of the table in the warehouse. It will also add the data set as a dependency. On the right sidebar, I can look at the compile query and see that the ref function has been replaced with the correct schema and table name. Above, I can also see that order stats has been added as a dependency. On the overview page, you can see a visualization of the dependency tree of your entire Dataform project. Every time Dataform updates your datasets, it will make sure to update them in the dependency order. This is obviously a very simple example, but as your projects get more complex, the ref function and dependency management will make it easy to manage the dependencies in your data. As mentioned, I want my datasets to be refreshed every hour so that the data is always up to date. To do this, we're going to go to the scheduling page. Schedules are defined in a JSON file. You can choose to edit them through our interactive UI or directly within the JSON. I'm going to create a new schedule in this case, we want to run the entire project every hour. We want the team to be alerted when the pipeline fails, so I'm going to add our email. Dataform uses Git to version control projects. All the changes I've made so far are on a personal branch, dan underscore dev. Now that I'm happy with the tables I defined and the schedule I created, I'm going to create a new commit, add a description, and then push the results to the master branch. This project uses a Git folder managed by Dataform, but you can connect your project to your own GitHub repo to see all the code, the history of commits, and even submit pull requests. Lastly, the logs page gives me a list of all the past runs in this project. I can see their status as well as how and when they were triggered. Then for each run, I can see the exact SQL ran against the warehouse to create my datasets. That completes a short overview of some of Dataform's core features.
To learn more about Dataform and the more advanced features of the open source Dataform SDK, like testing and reusable components, you can check out our website and read our docs. Thanks for watching.